Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to you and Senator Murray for convening this. Thank you to all of our witnesses for your service. This is obviously an exceptional uh, hearing today and that three of our witnesses are in quarantine. And so I just want to start by asking a pretty simple yes or no question that I think I know the answer to. Um, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Hahn, and Dr. Redfield, I'm correct that all of you are drawing a salary, as you should, during your period of quarantine. Is that correct? <laughs> Uh, Senator, uh, let me let me start off. I think we better be careful about the issue of quarantine. We are essential workers as part of the essential infrastructure, and we are, uh, uh, when needed, which is often, do our duties and our respective places at the White House. I was at the White House yesterday, uh, and I will likely even, perhaps, even be there today, and in my office at the NIH. So uh, it is not really, strictly speaking, the quarantine as we know it but it is performing our duties as critical workers. And I'd be happy to have my colleagues also respond to that. Senator Murphy, this is uh, Steve Hahn. Um, I agree with uh, Dr. Fauci. Um, and yes, I am drawing a salary and um, I have continued to work during my quarantine. Um, and as an essential worker, will participate in meetings face-to-face uh, -face when that attendance is uh, considered critical. My, my point here, listen, you all should draw a salary well. You are taking precautionary steps because of the contacts you have made. Um, my point is that quarantine is relatively easy uh, for people like you and me. Um, we can still work and get paid. We can telework. But there are millions of other Americans uh, who work jobs that can't be performed from home or are paid by the hour. Um, and it's just remarkable to me um, that this administration has not yet developed a mechanism for states to implement and pay for a quarantine system that will work for all Americans. Your plan to reopen America requires states develop that plan, and yet my state has no clue uh, how to implement and pay for that system without help from the federal government, um, which leads me to my second question. Um, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Redfield, you've made news today by warning us appropriately of the dangers of states opening too early. Um, but as Senator Murray mentioned, this is infuriating to many of us because it comes hours after the president declared that we have prevailed over coronavirus, which I'm just going to tell you is going to make it much harder on state leaders to keep social distancing restrictions in place. It comes days after the president called on citizens to liberate their states from social distancing orders. And I think you're all noble public servants, but I worry that you're trying to have it both ways. You say that states shouldn't open too early, but then you don't give us the resources to succeed. You work for a president who is frankly undermining our efforts to comply with the guidance that you've given us. And then the guidance that you have provided is criminally vague. And I wanna ask my last question on this topic. Um, obviously, the plan to reopen America was meant to be followed by more detailed, nuanced guidance, right? What does a downward trajectory mean? What happens if the trajectory is downward in some settings, but upward in others? What happens if you reopen and then there's a spike in one location or another setting? And of course, you knew this because you developed this guidance, this, this additional guidance that is uh, site-specific, that frankly is helpful. Some of this is on the CDC website, but some of it is not. And we need it. My state needs it. We don't have all of the experts that you have. Um, and so we rely on you. So reporting suggests, Dr. Redfield, that this guidance that was developed by you and other experts was shelved by the administration, uh, that it was um, uh, withheld from states and the public because of a decision made by the White House. So my specific question is, why didn't this plan get released? And if it is just being reviewed, when is it going to be released? Because states are reopening right now, and we need this additional guidance to make those decisions. Senator, I appreciate your question. Uh, clearly, uh, we have uh, generated a series of guidances, as you know, um, and is this uh, outbreak response has evolved from a the CDC to an all of government response. As we work through the guidances, a number of them go for interagency review. 
and interagency input to make sure that these guidances uh, are more broadly applicable for different parts of our society. The guidances that you've talked about uh, have gone through that interagency review. There are comments that have come back to CDC, and I anticipate they'll go back up into the task force for final review. But, but we're reopening uh, in Connecticut in five days, in 10 days. I mean, this guidance isn't going to be useful to us in two weeks. So is it this week? Is it next week? When are we going to get this expertise from the federal government? The, the other thing I will just say is that the CDC stands by to give technical assistance to your state and any state on, on any request. Uh, um, I do anticipate this broader guidance, though, to be um, posted on the CDC website uh, soon. I soon. can't tell you soon, Eight. but in, in, I can tell you your state can reach out to CDC and we'll give guidance directly to anyone in your state on any circumstance that your state desires guidance from. Soon isn't terribly helpful. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, 